Uh, my name's Vic, and uh, we love dogs. That, that's really where it all started. I love dogs because they're just wonderful creatures. They're awesome to you, and they make you feel good when you're, when you're sad, and they're wonderful to be around. We've had dogs for, for all of our adult life. And we love Ruby. She's now nine years old. She has spent almost her entire life as a search and rescue dog. Uh, she loves going out and helping people. She loves being around people. She snuggles up against you and follows you everywhere around. And I don't have children, so I have dogs and um, treat them like you know furry kids they are. We have a saying uh, in, in search and rescue that not every dog raises its paw. Uh, to, to want to do this and so she definitely did. About three years ago she started getting sick. She was having problems with her uh, digestion and she was having uh, diarrhea. She was vomiting. Uh, we really didn't know what was going on with her. We took her to see a specialist out of town. And she was having some issues with IBD and some reflux problems. And, and basically they said she's going to have to be on some pretty strong medications for the rest of her life. Unfortunately, we knew going into it that some of the side effects of, of that medication would be having seizures, and she did start to have seizures a few months into it. Of course, that, that's nothing you ever want to see your dog go through. And we realized that we needed to look at other options for her. And um, just started doing research on you know what, what could help her internally. In doing that, Shannon, of course, did more research, and. Uh, we found that there are certain foods that are better for that kind of stuff. We call it the days of the concoctions because we were doing uh, pumpkin and carrots, bananas, blueberries, cranberry, and putting all these ingredients together and make a, a food topper smoothie, either pour it over their dog food or freeze it and have a nice little frozen treat. There's nothing artificial in it. There's no artificial preservatives. Everything we put into it is human grade, so we can actually sample it as we go. Once we started giving it to Ruby, literally within a few weeks, we started seeing a noticeable difference. It seemed to really help her, and she was able to not be on any meds. And it really just made a big difference in her life. We then started talking to some friends, and they said, you know what, you should make it and let other people enjoy it. And that's basically what we did. And that's really when we came up with the idea of Bow Wow Blend. We started making it at home first, and then um, ran into some friends that said, hey, you should try uh, doing this uh, for other people, for other dogs, you know? And, and we realized that not only is it a, is it a supplement that, that's good for her, it's also they enjoy it. You know, they can enjoy it as a frozen treat. They can uh, enjoy it added to their food. And, and it's a product that really will, will not you know, it doesn't have any medical, real medical purposes, but, but it does aid into their digestion. It also, um, uh, it, it got her off the drugs. We, we were able to get Ruby uh, off any type of drugs, no more seizures. She continued her life as a search and rescue dog. We started working with uh, New Mexico State University, the chemistry department, and the uh, New Mexico Agricultural Department. And they helped us develop this, and, and we were able to come up with what is now Bow Wow Blends that you're able to buy. We sell it locally, it's done well locally. Um, we have it in a bunch of different stores, and, and people keep asking, uh, you know, when can we get it in other places? When can we sell it in other places? And, and one of the things we realized quickly going into it is, pet food is very different than human food. If I developed a human drink, once it's approved by the FDA, I can sell it anywhere I want in the country. With pet food, you actually have to do it state by state. Each state wants to evaluate it. Each state wants to register it. And, and so we have to be approved in each state. Now, luckily, since New Mexico has one of the highest standards in the United States, pretty much every other state, when they see our product and it's been approved in New Mexico, they approve it. But they still want us to pay all the fees. They still want the registrations. They still want all that kind of stuff. And so we're having to do that. Um, and basically, we're asking for help in spreading Bow Wow Blends. We want to be able to share it with other people. We want to be able to sell it in other states. And we think through this crowdfunding, uh, we will be able to do that. This is not a medical product. We, we want to be clear on that. But it is a healthy product. I believe that feeding your dog a healthy food, uh, having a healthy lifestyle, uh, can help them live longer. And anything that can make them a little bit healthier may extend their life just a little bit and that's all we want. We, we want to spend a little bit more time with them. We want to have a little bit more time on earth with them. And, and we're hoping that 
in our own small way, this will be part of it. Mm -hmm.